Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a demonstration of Ansible Lightspeed with IBM Watson X Code Assistant, particularly spending most of our time on the newest features around Ansible playbook generation and content explanation. So I'm going to share my screen and jump into my development environment, which is Visual Studio Code. As an Ansible creator, I use VS Code to write my automation and there is an Ansible extension for VS Code that contains all the Ansible Lightspeed capabilities. The benefit of integrating and building the features within the VS Code extension is that it can now be the focal point of all things related to Ansible creation. The Ansible extension provides features like syntax highlighting, auto-completion, real-time Ansible lint feedback, playbook run entry points, and the generative AI capabilities all built in. Ansible Lightspeed is enabled in the VS Code extension settings here, and I'm already logged into Ansible Lightspeed, and my environment is already connected to Watson X Code Assistant. I can now click on the Ansible logo on the side pane and start generating Ansible playbooks using Ansible Lightspeed. So here's our entry point into the large language model to ask for a full playbook. It's asking for my natural language prompt here and there are some examples below to get me started if I need it. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. As the model is trained specifically on Ansible content, we don't need to add things like write me a playbook or generate a playbook. I can directly add my playbook goal in the natural language prompt. For this one, I want to install LAMP stack on my managed nodes using Ansible. So just typing here, deploy LAMP stack on RHEL servers and click on Analyze. So our second screen of playbook generation is actually an outline of steps that the large language model is providing for the Ansible playbook. Instead of showing the code for the ML playbook, we want to give the Ansible creators an easier way to interact with the large language model before generating the whole playbook. We really feel this is going to enable the novice to intermediate Ansible playbook writers to get started and learn about Ansible playbooks in a much easier way. I have the option to edit the outline if I want to add or remove steps from my final playbook, or I can edit the original playbook goal if I don't like the outline. Let's say for this one, I want Apache to listen to port 8080 and I can just add to the outline, configure Apache to run on port 8080. Let's generate our playbook now. Okay, now let's see how our playbook looks like. The playbook looks correct as it was able to factor uh, the change in outline for the Apache to listen to port 8080 and it also deploys the LAMP stack as we intended. And just like that, we were able to create an Ansible playbook using the generative AI features provided by Ansible Lightspeed with IBM Watson X Code Assistant. I just used some natural language prompts to create my playbook. Imagine how easy it is for a new Ansible playbook writer to start writing new playbooks, especially if I understand the use case but haven't written any Ansible before. I have a great starting point into Ansible using Ansible Lightspeed. There is another feature I want to highlight here. If I were a novice developer or I was trying to learn about playbooks within my organization, we have a feature to explain the playbooks. I'm going to go ahead and show the explain current playbook on the playbook that I just generated. It's calling the large language model and it's going to generate an explanation for this playbook. All right, so here it is if I wanted more details. But again, more importantly would be if there was a playbook that I had to maintain as a developer and I wasn't sure what it's doing. I can easily call the playbook explanation to understand the whole playbook. So just to recap, we showed you how Ansible Lightspeed is able to generate complete playbooks now with a guided interface and how you can run explanations on playbooks, either Lightspeed generated ones or any other playbooks that exist within your organization. Hope this was helpful and happy automating.